All right, I'm here with Doug, also known as Utricularius. Try saying that three times fast. Uh, and he's with West Valley Brick Builders. Doug, walk me through this majestic piece right here. Okay, uh, we call this the Secrets of Wildwood, and it's our take on a fractured fairy tale, high fantasy world. And we have a kingdom of light, a kingdom of dark, and the river that holds the two magic support. It's approximately 250,000 pieces. We had 14 builders, six primary, eight apprentice, and we worked on it eight and a half months. I'm hearing sheep. I'm hearing sheep. Sheep dogs. 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 Sheep that is the wizard's wife. They had a they had a magical accident and she's trapped inside. And every time he's cast a spell in the last five years, he's pulled somebody else into Wildwood from other universes. I love this. I mean, I see R2 back there. Yes. So that's he, part he of that. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Um, you've got jousting happening here. Yes. Uh, um, and it's it's moving. Yes. This is phenomenal. And it will. It has to be adjusted every so often. Okay. But just on a looping track. What would you say is, I know it's hard to probably pick, but what would you say is your favorite part of the whole build? Uh, my favorite part is actually the trees. That, that was a labor of love, and once I figured out the method, it has been uh, like a zen-like thing. I just love building. Can you tell me about that build a little bit? There's two basic techniques going on. To make the tree trunk, we are using Technic axles and the small belt pieces wrapped around the smaller gear and the way the back of the plate works, there's pins. The pins snap into the holes on the track. That's genius. Okay. And it's actually a technique that the um, detective's office used on the water tower, but this is a smaller version of it. And then you just build up as high yeah, as you, you want. You build as high as you want and you don't you, you can structure inside to support it if you like. And then the clusters are various sizes of these and it's just basically two two plant pieces with flowers and then you attach the limbs to the flower pieces and offset them. And then cover them with as many leaves or as few as you like. Earlier you mentioned the way you have your setup. So there's apprentices, and I think, is it masters? Uh, the primary builders primary and builders. masters. So huh. we had three teams, so two-person teams, and then our apprentices helped us do like a lot of the understructure. We built a lot of Technic cubes that are um, they're modular and they stack. And I can give the teenage members of the club a pile of parts and just a sample and say, here, make me as many as you can. And you use that to elevate yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, we use it for the rapid landscape prototyping. That's awesome. I love your the castle aspect there too. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's my team one. That's Marvin and Sarah Lunt. Uh, Marvin is an architect by trade, so he loves designing buildings. And this was their first uh, medieval attempt. And where are you going anywhere next to display? Uh, we're we're taking it back to our home store in Avondale, Arizona. Okay. Racing mini fakes. Do you think we'll be back here next year? I'm not sure we're doing I can't wait. Doug, thank you so much. I really appreciate the time. Look forward to seeing you guys again. Hey, Doug. Yes. Can you tell me how the wall is held together? Uh. Not really well. <laughs>